everybody. Thank you for um, watching my videos. I'm sorry I haven't been on for about a month, but um, I'm exactly one month post op. And I have been having a pretty hard time, so I haven't been able or motivated to do any videos. And I, you know, feel bad because I wanted you guys to be on this journey with me. But for those of you who have had the procedure, can understand how the surgery affects your body, right? So, like I said, one month post up, I have lost a total of 36 pounds, which is great. Uh, but I've been having a lot of problems and all right chewing on ice my last video I updated you guys about was it about nausea I think it was nausea well, um, I'm one month post-op and I still have nausea really bad every day from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep. Um, there's not really much I can do about that. It's one of the side effects that some people get. Unfortunately, I've gotten it really bad. Um, I'm one month post-op, like I said, and I'm still on clear liquids. I should be on soft food or some regular foods that are allowed, but I just can't keep it down. Um, it gets stuck, like, in the middle of my chest, even if it's the littlest amount. Like, I tried having some Lipton soup, and when I tell you I had very little Lipton soup, it got stuck in my chest and it wouldn't go down and eventually I threw it up so what I'm feeling is excuse me if I'm not nauseous I'm throwing up if I'm not either of those things I'm so very full and I'm just full from broth like I can't even drink the premier protein is is too thick um water in the beginning it took me five hours to drink a small small Fiji water um, today was my first day back at work doctor allowed four weeks um, I just feel like for some people it should be longer I'm weak, I'm tired. The incision in my belly button had opened like day three and it stayed open. Um, it's finally closing up. But I had to take really good care of it. Um, so let's talk about the things that I can tolerate, right? Uh, I eat small slices of cheese, it's like the cheese squares. Um, I can tolerate that. I always have been able to, even on week two. Week two, definitely week three, and I, I can tolerate it, no problem. I crave pickles, and I found that really weird. I would wake up at four o'clock or one o'clock in the morning just to have a pickle. I couldn't understand it. And I looked into it. A lot of people grape pickles. It has electrolytes in it also um, um, hydrates you. So the juice of the pickle is, you know, a good source of um, electrolytes. And also, I've been able to tolerate watermelon. Now, watermelon is 90% water. So, 
if you smush it up really good even the pickle if you like crunch it down really well some days I could tolerate the whole pickle and now when I say the whole pickle I mean like a baby pickle like that I could tolerate but for the most part like today um, my pickle I just chewed it up for the juice and then I spit the rest of it out I know it sounds really gross but when you have this surgery there's a lot of things that like you have to be you have to find what's good for you right you have to see what your body can tolerate not just what other people tell you you can tolerate on week two I went to my surgeon and he basically said you know don't worry about eating like don't focus on eating focus on hydrating yourself which kind of helped me feel better because I felt like I was failing um, at it because you know you have to get your protein in you got to get your water in and like nothing was really working for me I couldn't keep anything down but once he told me that I just started focusing on liquids now let me tell you one big mistake I did right um, I was having problems like insomnia problems I couldn't understand why I couldn't fall asleep I'm done I realized I was drinking fruit punch at bedtime or around bedtime now yes you're not supposed to drink anything with sugar but the fruit punch the minute made it um tolerated it, my stomach very well I had no issues with it but for like a good three weeks I couldn't sleep at night I would stay up all night long and then want to sleep during the day and I couldn't I was like what is wrong with me until I stopped drinking fruit punch and then it was Halloween time and I was looking for something sweet and I had like the tiniest candy and I was like again I couldn't sleep and then you just like you put one and one together and I was like oh my god the sweetness of whatever you're intaking because you're not taking anything with sugar like you stopped sugar weeks ago and then now you're having sugar so it keeps you up and I'm telling you fully awake up can't sleep lay in your bed for hours trying to get to sleep and I was like oh my gosh like I'm so in big trouble I have to get to work so I stopped drinking sweet eating sweets like just stop right and then I was able to get to sleep but your stomach when you're nauseous has a wake-up period <laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous but for instance um, I was exhausted exhausted last exhausted I went to sleep at 11 fell asleep with no problem like instantly but so here's the thing right when you have this surgery there's two things that are two major things that'll bother you nausea and reflux um acid reflux right so when you're laying down even you have a pillow it's not really inclining you enough and those you know stomach juices go up and down up and down all night long can't sleep wake up with, with um, acid reflux right okay so what I found that when I was going to my living room and laying down and it was almost sitting up but kind of like inclining a good part from my waist up that I would get the best sleep and I thought it was just um, the, the furniture 
that it was really comfortable, but I was like, how can my sofa be so comfortable and not my bed, right? So then I decided to bring some of the pillows from the living room into my bed and incline myself the same way to see what would happen. Sure enough, I had the best sleep of my life. But when your stomach tells you it's time to like drink something or something or something needs to go in or it like wakes you up. So today's Monday and I've been awake since 4.30 this morning. I went to sleep at 11. Exhausted. At 4.30, I, there was just nothing nothing that would get me back to sleep um and I was so afraid like I've been afraid to have to go back to work because of the way I've been feeling um so I made sure I had a lot of stuff to nibble on although I can't really eat anything so I bought you know two pickles with me two little squares of cheese some broth and um I sipped on some tea for most of the morning and I love cold water like I can't drink room temperature water I can't drink hot water my water has to be cold for me to drink it so um, you know the doctor says not to drink cold water because it um, it stimulates your stomach and that makes it hurt right so but he does recommend that you eat ice, which is so weird because why can you why can you chew on ice which melts and goes down cold into your stomach but you can't drink cold water? I don't know. The cold ice helps for sure. And aside from being a little bit queasy this morning, for the most part I've been okay. Um I had a lot of people tell me I look really pale so they instantly knew that there was something wrong with me but you know um, I've been telling everyone at work today who knew that I kind of regret it because of the surgery because of the process uh, uh, because of the issues I've been having but I just know that in the long run sorry it's gonna get better you know a lot of times things gotta be worse before it get better you just had major surgery in your stomach four weeks ago haven't really been mobile because i've been so tired my legs hurt my fingers um i feel like pin needles um yeah it'll be okay though to let it last more than a month too. I'm just kind of sad that I really can't eat. Like, there's a lot of food that I'm craving and not, not even to binge, like just to taste it and have some taste in my mouth. But I haven't been able to, like, and, and it's just, like really things that I shouldn't have anyway. Um, my family had Little Caesars pizza the other day and um, I wanted some cheese bread. I figured the cheese would be okay. I didn't really do the bread part of it. I kind of picked it off, but. It did not do my stomach any justice. I just, and the bad, and it's not so much storing up. It's just the process of throwing up. You have nothing in your stomach to throw up. 